2019, the big day where everybody signed up, over a million people agreed to rush Area 51. So, uh, big letdown. We're all gonna storm Area 51. You know, back in my day, uh, things were a little bit different. You know, we were men of our word, young men of our word, and young women of our word. If we said we were gonna do something, and signed up for it, we went and did it. You don't believe me, just look at the history. People nowadays, they've got no respect for the common word. You know, they say something and it's just a bold freaking lie. Everybody's gonna storm Area 51. I commend the two or three heroes that actually try to have a set of cojones on them instead of the rest of you dang pussies out there. All you wanna do is go on your YouTube vlogs and Facebook and take your picture out in the desert and run your mouth. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You know, you just didn't do nothing. You didn't even try. A million of you were supposed to go. I don't believe a hundred thousand actually showed up. You know, a bunch of pussies. And then you say you're going to go do something. And you know what? You had the government scared there for a while. If you know, follow through with it, we would know what it, Area 51 was all about. And the alien cover-up conspiracy would be out too. But you know what? You're a bunch of freaking pussies. You want to had a picnic in a desert singing Kumbaya, running around with Halloween costumes on. You didn't do a freaking thing to uncover the truth. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Alien hunters, alien chasers, you change your t-shirts so they say alien pussy patrol because that's what you are a bunch of pussies you know you chase furry little cats around you didn't even bring them to the desert I, I i don't understand what all this big hype's about and then you don't do anything there was actually on uh a tv station out of allentown pennsylvania yesterday they had a release UFO sighting being chased by a U.S. Air Force flight jetter, jet, jet fighter that was uh, released and declassified because you had the government so scared they put it on TV, on the news. And then you all back out. A, a bunch of little ankle biters, that's what you are. Little ankle biter dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quack, quack, quack. Squeaking and barking, running your mouth, flapping your gums, sound all big and tough, and then you don't do nothing. I want you all should be ashamed of yourself. I want you to leave something down below in the comments and tell me why you pussed out. You ain't got no cojones. You know, you know what a BB is? You put it, you know, a BB for like a BB gun? You know what that is? Yeah, your cojones are smaller than that. You know what a molecule is for an atom? Yeah, your cojones are smaller than that. Bunch of rejects. You're all rejects of society. You have no friends, so you all gotta run out in the desert and make friends with the people that don't have no friends. Sitting there, alien hunters. Yeah. I, I, I'm disgusted. I, I, you know, they use the word American very loosely today. Americans. I mean, I'm a proud to be an American. I'm very patriotic and I'm proud of this country. But, you know, I'd do about anything for it. But you people, go sit under the sheets and make a tent with your buddy. And turn on the flashlight and tell ghost stories. You know, that's about what you're capable of. You're pathetic. I got more aliens. Look. I had to put a sign up. I got more aliens walking through my front yard at night and on my roof and everything else. It's like living in a freaking twilight zone here where I live. And you guys are going to do something about it. Get us protection. Get it exposed. Get it me? You didn't do nothing. You went out there and made freaking s'mores. Notice. Unauthorized personnel keep out Area 51. That's the problem. Every moron out there can read. They follow signs. Storm Area 51. Psh, pathetic.